All right, today we're interviewing a crime fighter from New York City. Uh, first, who are you? A true crime fighter does not reveal his identity. But I go by El Negro Pantera. Okay, then more importantly, how did you become known as the El Negro Pantera? Back in my black activist days with the Black Panthers, the black people made jokes about me because I wanted to be a black superhero. Their moral values didn't match mine, so we had to separate. And I became El Negro Pantera. All right, that's cool. So do you have any superpowers, El Negro Pantera? What's your definition of a superpower? I don't know, something supernatural no one else can do? I can be invisible in the dark. Whatever, you can't be invisible in the dark. Whoa, where'd you go? I told you I could be invisible in the dark. I'm black, but I can also be invisible whenever I want to. Whoa, that is a superpower. So how many times a day do you turn into El Negro Bentera as a crime fighter? As many times as needed, usually eight and a half times. Wow, that must be pretty intense. Take a whole entire work day. So what do, you, uh, what do you enjoy doing when you're not crime fighting? I enjoy long walks on the Upper West Side, white neighborhoods only, no crime. I hear rumors that uh, Kool-Aid is your favorite drink and it power boosts you. Is that true? It used to be my favorite drink. Till I got diabetes, now I have to slow down and eat, drink wheatgrass like the white folk. Well, thanks, El Negro Pantera, for crime fighting New York City and keeping us all safe. Thanks for your interview. You're welcome.